here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is a good start. Give it up for Lauren, huh? <laughs> you didn't want to f her. Uh, what about me? You want to f me? I seem nice. See, fat phobic, not homophobic. Way to go in 2024. Um, well, that's good. It's nice to be here in D.C. I came here on the bus from New York, and I'm originally from Indiana, so it's nice just being anywhere, you know? It's good. I like being from Indiana, but people don't like it. A lot of people will boo you. I've been booed a lot. I'll go on stage. I'll be like, I'm from Indiana. People be like, boo! I don't like that, and I don't like you! Boo! I got booed by this lady one time, and I was like, where are you from? And she goes, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I was like, oh cool, you're from Indiana with a mountain. I've been around this country, I've seen almost all of it. This country is nine cities and the rest of it's Indiana. It's all Indiana. You guys ever been to Arizona? Yeah, sand Indiana, it sucks. My girlfriend's from there. She's like, it's not sand Indiana. I'm like, you have done cocaine with your dad. What's more Indiana than that? <laughs> Doing meth with your mom. This is not a or rhetorical. It doesn't matter. Whatever. God, that sucks. I don't even know words. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I can't make, I don't know how to make, I'm like really dumb and I don't know how to make money and it, it makes my girlfriend really mad. Like I was doing my taxes and I made $12,000 last year and I was talking to my accountant and he was like, you should not have an accountant. <laughs> This is probably cutting into my bottom line. This is very good for me. Another financial L for the Tim Street. It's crazy. I, I had to, like, I'm, I'm all, like, I can't really read, you know, so that doesn't help you, like, make, like, I had to Google what is it called when it's a painting of a person. It's a portrait. I'm so dumb and poor, I'm surprised I don't have children. <laughs> <laughs> One clap and a couple of sad people being like, yeah, we came here to forget. <laughs> I should be back in Indiana living in a trailer full of kids, just sending out my worst one to fight a tornado with Mountain Dew. You'd be like, get out there, get out there, fight the tornado. If you win, your mom will come back. <laughs> She's dead. I killed her or whatever in the joke. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'll ever make money. I don't think I'll ever do it. I would like to, but I'm just a loser. I've, I've always been a loser. Like, here's the best example. In high school, I used to wrestle. I was 8 and 110. That was my record. And I don't know if you guys wrestled in Indiana, but when someone, like, I three times, I was someone's 100th win. Three times. And what happens in Indiana is they make a big deal out of it, and a guy always gets a plaque. And it always has the guy's name and the exact date, right? And here's, it never happened in a wrestling tournament where the guy had like 10 to 12 chances to get his 100th win. It always happened in a one-off meet where it was just me versus that dude, right? So I think what happened is their coach went online, saw my record, saw the dude's record, and they're like, let's go ahead and get the plaque made. <laughs> I was get the plaque made guy three times. Third one I remember the best because we had to drive almost all the way up to Chicago from Indianapolis. It was a two and a half hour ride up there and the whole time I'm up go, riding up there, I'm like, I'm driving two and a half hours to lose, right? We get there, guys are in 12th in state. I go to shake hands and he goes, good luck. And I was like, yeah. You're gonna need it. <laughs> and then he beat me in 20 seconds. <laughs> it was pretty good. I stood up laughing, he goes, what are you laughing about? I handled you. And I was like, yeah, but remember when you were all like, good luck? And I was all like, ha ha, you're gonna need it? And then you beat the crap out of me? He's like, oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you're funny. And I was like, oh, thanks. And then he let me hold his plaque. And my mom took a picture of me with it. <laughs> she put it in a frame and it made my dad mad. 
he would walk by because what I would do if wrestlers didn't get like a medal or a trophy, what they would do is they would throw their ribbons on the ground, and what I would do is walk around and pick up those ribbons. So in my room, there were a bunch of third to ninth place ribbons and a photo of me holding another man's plaque, right? So at a glance, I looked like I was very good. And my dad would just walk by and he'd be like, this is why he is the way he is. It's because his mother lets him do these things. And I was telling this story in Chicago and a woman in the audience goes, uh, I bet it was my brother. I was like, what? She goes, the guy who was ranked 12th in state that you wrestled up near Chicago, I bet it was my brother. I was like, lady, there's no way. And she goes, yeah, it was. I go, okay, what years did your brother wrestle? She goes, 2001 to 2005. I was like, all right, not a good start for me. <laughs> then I said, what weight did your brother wrestle? And she goes, 152 pounds. And I was like, strike two for the Timster. <laughs> and then I said, what's your brother's name? The question I should have started with. Right? <laughs> And she was like, Tony Garza. And I was like, oh, no. No, God, no. Because if you look closely at the picture of me holding the plaque, it says 100 wins, Tony Garza, right? <laughs> now, Portage is bad. Where he's from is bad. So I was like, how he's, how's he doing? Like, hoping he was, like, dead or on heroin? You know? like, he's like, I'm doing bad, you know? So I'm, like, hoping he's doing bad. And she's like, oh, no, he's great. He's a surgeon. And he lives in a giant house and has a beautiful wife. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I was like, do you think that he let my mom take a picture of me with his wife in front of the house <laughs> to frame for my dad. You know? All right, that's the best that clean five minutes has ever gone in my life. I think I got it, gang. I'm pretty happy with myself. Okay. I didn't say fuck one time. And I say fuck all the time. I like to do it. I like to curse. That's what, that's what ignorant people do. We say fuck instead of actual other words. Um, but yeah, this is good. I like being here in D.C. This is fun. I, uh, I had to quit my job recently. I was working. I was the manager of a bar in Bowling Alley, and I know you guys are looking at me you're like, look at that fist, look at him. Look at him up there. I bet he walked into the Bowling Alley and they were like, you wanna manage this place? And that is what happened. I walked in and my buddy's like, we need a manager here. And I was like, I'll do it, you got, you got the man. But I, my girlfriend made me quit because I was getting electrocuted too much. Which also another thing, you're like, I bet this guy's been electrocuted in the Bowling Alley. I was getting electrocuted too much, she made me quit, which was fine. Like, working in a bar sucks. It just sucks a million dicks. It sucks so bad because everyone, not you guys, of course, but everyone who's not in this room is a fucking asshole piece of shit. <laughs> and I hate every single person in the world. And it, and it makes me understand, uh, like, mass shootings. But I don't, I'm not one, I can't afford a gun. But I, if I could, I'll go back to Indiana and probably take one of my cousins. I, <laughs> but, uh, because here's the thing. Here's what happens. Here's how COVID fucked everything up. Because, like, since COVID, like, you can take a picture. Like, a lot of people take a photo of their ID, and then they bring their phone to the bar, and they're like, here's my ID. And I'm like, I'm sorry. We don't accept that as a form of identification at this bar. And I would get in arguments five times a day with people for a long time. And I'd just be like, listen, you're not getting in. I, I got an argument with this girl and she goes, you from the Midwest rule follower? <laughs> My shirt said Indiana. I was like, yeah, it wasn't a stretch. I'm like, yes, I'm from the Midwest. She goes, Midwest people love following the rules. And I go, okay. And then she said the most 22 year old thing I've ever heard someone say in my life. She goes, you know, if you took a couple mushrooms every now and again, probably wouldn't follow the rules so much. And I was like, okay, listen, I've taken mushrooms hundreds of times. For two years straight, I microdosed thinking it would fix my life. I take doses of mushrooms that people find concerning. And I've had one realization. 
every time I've ever been on mushrooms. And it's that I should have my ID on me at all times. I'm like, we live in New York City, lady. We live in New York City. There are crazy people everywhere. I was like, what if a guy has a big metal pipe in his hand, smashes your face to pieces, breaks all of your teeth, you can't get identified because he also <laughs> broke your phone. I go, you ever think about that? You're a Jane Doe. Now what are they gonna do with you? What are they gonna do with your body now? They're gonna throw you in a ditch with prostitutes. Is that what you want? And she was like, what the fuck? I was like, that's what's gonna happen. I go, I don't like this job. I'll get fired for this right now. I don't care. I was like, I'll straight up kill myself for real. And she was like, okay, you believe. And I was like, yes, get out. And my buddy who was, I was working with was like, what the fuck? And I was like, that's called customer service. My good and I was talking to the GM and I was like, you might get a bad review here. And he goes, no, 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 you can just be like that. And I was like, good. So that was cool. That was pretty cool. I had to get an ultrasound of my heart recently. Um, because uh, my doctor, they did an EKG at the doctor, and my doctor was like, have you had a heart attack recently? Uh, and I was like, no, but I have been getting electrocuted at the bowling alley. <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah, that might do it, you know? So I had to get an ultrasound on my heart, and I went to the ultrasound place, and the, I, I went at like 7.30 at night, and my nurse looked like she was having a bad day. So I was like, I'm, a, I'm funny. I'm going to be funny as fuck. <laughs> Crack my nurse up, give her a little laugh at work, right? So I go, and, and she does an ultrasound, heart not pregnant, classic stuff right there. So she does the ultrasound, I'm wiping the shit off of my chest, and as I'm wiping it off the chest, I look at the nurse and I go, Reminds you of prom, huh? <laughs> 20? You guys are laughing at 20? And she goes, no. And then what? And I went home and I told my girlfriend, I was like, can you believe that this bitch didn't find that funny at all? And my girlfriend goes, can I believe that you sexually harassed a woman at her job? And she didn't find it funny? I go, what, the HR of the house? What, I don't need this. I go, take some mushrooms. Maybe you won't follow the rules, bitch. Okay. I got all kinds of medical problems. Uh, well, I just have one. And if anyone's a doctor in here and can tell me what's up, because like I've been, to, I've been to three specialists. I've been to three specialists about this. I, you look like a doctor. Are you a doctor? No. Damn, well you look like you could be, which is sick for you. I feel like I look like a guy that'll fuck up working on your car. Not from Indiana. He's not from Indiana? Southwest Chicago though. You're Southwest Chicago, what part of Chicago? 57 percent. 50, oh, actual Chicago, wow. Most people are like, I'm from Chicago, and you're like, where do you live? And they're like, Schaumburg. And you're like, oh good, you live in a mall. That's a mall town. You live inside a whole ass mall. Uh, what do you do? You're a lobbyist? For what? <laughs> no, that's we don't want processed food. What we need is smoking in bars again. Can you lobby for that? I don't smoke anymore because I'm on two different inhalers because I smoke my lungs to shit, but I like the smell and I want to hang out in bars where people smoke. Do that for me, please. I get enough processed food. You don't look like this without eating processed food. Also, I should go with you. I'd be like, look at me. Processed food, huh? And everyone will be like, this guy's gonna have to pay a little more money. I, uh, lobbyist is cool. It's a cool job, probably make money doing that. Can I do it? Yes, let's go. My girlfriend's gonna be so happy. Uh, I'll be like, I got us a job. And it's not working for battle bots. <laughs> That's all I ever want to do is work for BattleBots. My friend was like, I have an in at BattleBots, he said to me. And I go, okay. And then I hit him up and they were like, no. They go, what do we need, a guy who can't read to work for our robot show? I was like, be a nice change of pace. <laughs> anyway, what was I fucking talking about? Oh, so I got salivary gland problems and also other shit. But my salivary glands like swell up like a lot all the time and it's really annoying and I've been to three different specialists and the last doctor I went to was like, um, maybe you have too many muscles in your mouth? I was like, you went to school? What the fuck? Like, you went to school for 10 years and I might have too many muscles in my mouth maybe? 
He goes, I don't know, but this costs you five grand. I was like, yeah, I'm not paying that. I'm never paying that. My credit's already bad. You think I give a fuck? I don't give a shit about this. But I had to go to an MRI to get it done. I had to get an MRI and, uh, you know, you're in the MRI, they put you in the little tube. It takes like 30 minutes, it clangs around. So I'm in the MRI, the guy, the MRI tech was like, hey, do you want to listen to some music? And I was like, yeah, I'll listen to some music. I like music, you know, I'm a regular person. So I put the music on and it, the music was weird. It was like hit songs, but it was covers of the songs, you know? And I was like, does the hospital not have the rights to Matchbox 20? What is happening? We don't get Rob Thomas up in this motherfucker? So I'm listening to the music and I'm like, this is fucked up. And I get out. And the MRI tech was like, how was it? And I was like, it was fine. He goes, did you like the music? And I was like, the music was okay. And then he got all sad and I was like, okay, goodbye. And I, and I left and, I, and the whole interaction was weird. So I was telling my girlfriend about it. And I was like, yeah, and then he got all sad when I said the music was okay. And she was like, it was probably his band. Oh. Yeah, that's, I, thought, I, I was like, what? She goes, he's trapping people inside. <laughs> of the MRI machine and playing his music for them and doing a very fucked up thing of asking blind if it's good, right? Tell me it's your band. I will lie. I'm going to lie to you. If I'm at the hospital, I'm already in my, on my best behavior. So, and here's the other thing. I've done stand-up comedy unsuccessfully for 14 years. I've been doing this. I should be headlining, but I am not because I'm a failure. So, and you know what? I And I've bombed a lot. I've bombed a shit ton of times. And you know what I like when I bomb? Is when a guy comes up to me, or a lady, hey, I don't care. But when someone comes up to me after the show, they're like, you were really good tonight. And we both know they're lying. <laughs> I love that. That's like my favorite shit in the world. Because I know they're lying, but they're being nice. And I was like, maybe I did do well. And then I listen back, and I'm like, oh, no. no. They're just a good person. I would like to do that for him. I'd be like, if he told me, I'd be like, it was the greatest music I've ever heard in my life. I'll name my firstborn son after your band. Jizz Diaper? Yes! Something that said Jizz Diaper. It's a good name. A strong name for a strong boy. I gotta go. Um, I did a pretty good job. I didn't even get to my 9-11 stuff, which was pretty crazy. I'll do it up. Uh, no, but if you want, after the show, I have I sell koozies if you want them. Because here's the thing. I was like, how do I make money? I was thinking to myself. And I was like, Tim, you're funny. Do something funny with a koozie. So I came up with a koozie that says, this drink ain't going to suck itself. And it was pretty good, pretty good koozie. You know, put your drink up, it's like a dick. So uh, it says, this drink ain't going to suck itself. I got pink, I got camo. I go to the Midwest a lot. So I have like two different kinds of camo. <laughs> My dad was like, fat hillbillies like that stuff. And, I was, and you know what? He was right. I saw those like hotcakes, but I got blue and pink and this, whatever. It's pay whatever you want. I don't really care. I'm just happy that you guys left the house to come to stand up comedy. So if you want one after the show, grab one. If you don't, whatever. I just am happy you guys are here. So thank you. And you're going to love your headliner, Tommy. He's so fucking funny. Um, and now to do my dirtiest joke and then to leave. So, uh, thank you. I will not be doing the 9-11 stuff. I know you gasp, so out of respect for you and your family, I will not be doing it. I, um... What? Oh, you can't respect a person's family anymore around here? All right, DC's changed. Ever since the president decided to not talk anymore, this town has gotten weird. Anyway. I come fast. I like to do it. I love it. I love coming fast. My people hate it, man. People, my girlfriend mostly, but people hate when I come. I, and, oh man, because I'm not. Sex is exercise. I'm not trying to exercise. I'm never trying to. I'm trying to get in, get out, go back to watching BattleBots. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to watch robots fight. I'm not trying to fuck my girlfriend. You know what I'm talking about? And my girlfriend likes dirty talk, but I can never really dirty talk. She'll be like, say something, and I'll be like, uh, I'm done. You know? So, 
<laughs> we were fucking recently, my girlfriend and I. We were fucking recently, and uh, I was lasting a little longer than usual, you know? I was a few sentences in, and I was like, you got such a tight little pussy or whatever, you know? You, you gotta compliment women, and... <laughs> She wasn't really saying much. I don't know if she wanted to be there, but she started getting into it and she was like, yeah, give me that little dick. And I was like, what the fuck? She's like, I don't know, I was following your lead. I was like, you go opposites. I say small and tight, you say ow, it doesn't fit or whatever. And then she grabbed my hair and just kind of pulled it and a bunch came out her hair. And I was like, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> I'd already come, but I was totally <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I'm done with my set. Have a good night. You're in a long time.